Oh my gosh, are they filled with pollen. What's going on, Drew? Uh, I think they're getting ready to swarm. This is an observation hive inside the shop and they are filled with pollen and something tells me that they are upset with me now being by the front of their home. But uh, they are getting ready to swarm and that's what I think. We don't get a chance to uh, check the observation hive inside that often because it's too hard to take apart and put together. And uh, they're thumping me. Where will they go if they swarm? Uh, that's between them and the good Lord. I do not know. They will find a new home. Uh, it's going to be... Oh, just got stung in the eye. Uh, they're all over you, Drew. Okay. They're not going to... They're more or less thumping me. Okay. Uh, they're warning me. I won't swing on it for a minute. Um, they're warning me, and uh, they will congregate outside. The queen will fly, and uh, she'll stop. They will congregate around her. They'll send out some of the worker bees to find a new home. And once they negotiate on that new home, that's where they'll fly to. If things go right, and I follow that swarm because the queen is a poor flyer, and I could catch them where they land initially, I will catch that swarm and put it back into a hive box and, and have a new hive. This is the observation hive that we just saw outside, and this is overloaded with bees. We really have to bring it out this week, take it apart, separate it, and uh, split the hive. It's just filled with honey and bees. And this has been here for four years and it has never died. It's thriving and we only take it apart once a year. We should start taking it apart two or three times a year. I'm just getting back from Freehold, New Jersey at a place called From the Garden. And while I was there, I, my friend Drew, who owns the place, he and I were walking around and Drew noticed that the indoor beehive was swarming. So that's where that video came from. It's really cool. It's a, such a cool place. If you've never been to From the Garden, and if you live anywhere nearby, definitely check it out. Drew's such a cool guy, and his wife Patty's really, really nice and knowledgeable about gardening and things like that. Uh, it's, it's worth a visit. And if you don't live close by, check them out online because you can get all natural honey on their website. So this is going to be a video that I'm making shortly. The bees are starting to get out of here. And uh, this is going to be how I get started beekeeping this year. This is called a nuke and this is a Langstraw beehive and the video uh, that I'll be making will be kind of an introduction an introduction to beekeeping so that should be up soon I hope you'll tune in and I'll see you then